scientist needs to explore, there is an assumption that you cannot sell people of color internationally. Yeah, maybe you'll make money in the U.S. because there are a lot of black folk running around that go to movies disproportionately, but as soon as you go to France, as soon as you go to England, they don't want to see black people on screen. And then you say, what about Will Smith? For a while, maybe not anymore, but for a while, biggest star in the world. They're like, yeah, well, Will's kind of the exception that approves, that approves the rule. What about, yep, what about Eddie Murphy? Well, that was the 80s, it's a different time. What about Denzel? Well, you know, he's another exception. What about Jamie Foxx? Well, that only works in Quentin Tarantino movies. Well, what about Samuel L. Jackson? Well, what about Martin Lawrence? Big Mama's House 2 made money for it. Um, so I, I, I guess the point is, is like, the number two movie of all time in France is Untouchables. And that movie works because of a performance by a Senegalese French actor named Omar Sy. Like, the notion that black people don't sell abroad is a fallacy and it's unproven. And, and it, it rests on an assumption, by the way, that everywhere around the world, people are happy to like, embrace us as athletes because you can't go to a city in, in the world that doesn't have at least one African on their soccer team. Uh, it rests on the assumption that they'll consume our music but that somehow when we go into a movie theater, eh, I don't want to do that. And it's just not true. And the fact of the matter is, is if you look at the correlation between foreign success for a movie and what's in the movie, the, the relationship really has to do with the marketing budget. And so studios will say, well, we can't sell black movies abroad, so we're not going to market them. And then when they don't make money, they say, oh, it's because they were black. Not because they didn't market the movie. The marketing line item on the budget was low. Yeah. So that is, that is a piece of conventional wisdom that is just accepted as fact. The fact of the matter is if you have more people of color in senior positions, they will recognize that as bull. And as a consequence, those things will begin to change. We don't, we're not at that point yet. There is not a black person at a studio, at a major studio with a title above senior vice president. Yeah. Facts. <laughs>